Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I have an amazing video for you. This is how to get unlimited freighters. Now, I want to caveat that by saying you cannot have unlimited freighters, but you will get to choose from any amount of freighters you want to look at. So before we jump into any of this stuff, I want to make sure to give credit where credit is due. Craze Gaming, he's the one who found this, or at least the one I saw that found it. I want to give credit to him. He's put up his videos today and it blew my mind. So all credit goes to Craze Gaming, link down below to his video and his channel. But this was so good, I had to share it with all of you and make sure everyone sees it. So you can get an unlimited choice in freighters, but you have to be in the expedition mode and specifically, you have to have beaten Expedition. So you have to have an Expedition save that is totally complete. All your milestones are there, and you are at the second rendezvous, the last rendezvous. There it is right here. This is the rendezvous point, the one you get to at the end. So once you get to that point, all you have to do is go into space and warp to a new system. Wait, we got to pause right here, guys. Sorry, future editing Jason here. I will recommend before you leave the planet, make a manual save. Either put a save beacon down or a save thing down. That way you can make a save because if something goes wrong, you always want to revert back to that second rendezvous. Be revert back to where you started from. Always make a save, a manual save, not an automatic save. So save beacon, save whatever, save point, make one, do that. Now let's continue on with the video. So, we already warped one time to get here, but once you warp a second time, you will activate the uh, freighter res rescue mission, which is awesome. And if you don't know what a freighter rescue mission is, basically, when you warp into a new system, a freighter will be under attack by pirates, and if you save it, you will get an absolutely free freighter. Only the first time, though. So keep that in mind. Only the first time it will be free. But let's go in here and let's just say, you know what? No, let's go into, let's go to another system right over here. Now, you can go to any system you want to, but you're going to be limited because, you know, we don't have an upgraded hyperdrive. So you can't go to like a blue system. We don't have that upgrade yet. I mean, you can try to get all that stuff sorted out and good to go before you do this. I would just say, hey, go to a yellow system and do this. And normally, in a normal save, this only happens one time every three hours so you gotta wait three hours in order to activate this for whatever reason in expedition mode it happens every single time so once you warp into a system you look at your freighter and go you know what i don't want this one this one doesn't look good that's not the design i want let's fly away from it get away from it because you need to get outside of the uh the pirate range that way you can warp again don't attack the pirates because if you do it stops it from happening again. You have to go away, get away from them. You have to get away from them and don't attack them at all. So once we get to a certain distance, it will let us use our uh, drive. There we go. So let's go to our galaxy map and let's go to a different one because we didn't like that one. Let's go to a different system right here. Let's go to this system over here. And again, this, sh this will not happen in normal mode. You have to be in the expedition mode. In normal mode, it only happens one time, and then you got to start the timer all over again for three hours. But look at this. Boom! Whole new system, whole new freighter. Look at that. Now we have this kind of a design. And you could do this over and over again. Like, hey, I really don't like that design of a freighter. That freighter is not for me. I want something different. You could just keep doing this over and over. I'm going to do it for a third time just to show you guys. But again, remember... Do not attack the pirates. If you attack the pirates, it locks it in. So if you don't want that one, do not even approach the pirates. Oh, we got to get away. Got to make sure you get a far enough distance away. That way you're outside of the range of the pirates. Let's go. Come on. And you should be able to. Yep. See, if you pulse drive it, it'll say, nope, sorry. The pirates are still looking for you. Let's get out of here. Come on. Go, go, go. Pulse drive back online, escape possible. That's what you're waiting for. So now let's get that. Oh, no, no, no. Pirate's still right behind me. Are you kidding me? This guy. All right. We're going to we're gonna test this out. I'm going to kill this one pirate because he just won't leave me alone. 
So, in general, don't do that. But he won't leave me alone, so we're getting out of here. Warp. Now let's see if it works. I'm telling you, it probably won't work because I, I I attacked the pirate. So you don't want that to happen. Again, make a manual save. Or because we haven't gotten out of our, our ship, we don't have to worry about it. So let's get out of here. And... There you go! It still works if you attack a ship. So I would recommend don't tempt fate. And don't attack all the pirates, because I've done it before, and it wouldn't respawn the uh, freighter. But look at this freighter! This one's looking pretty sexy. This might be the one I want to keep. So, if you find your freighter that you want to keep, go destroy the pirates that are attacking it, kill these guys, and then land on your freighter, and claim it! If it's not the one you want, you can always just keep going from system to system, and just knock it out, and wait till you get a good one that you like. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time. And I will see you guys next time.